guys, Custom Made Graphics here, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be covering this, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's pretty bad at the moment, um, but in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to clear up and organise your desktops. I know personally, a lot of the time I just save everything to the desktop, it becomes clogged up and you see here yeah, I've got millions of icons, I just put everything everywhere, it becomes really hard to find and uh, really annoying to try sort out. So the links that you'll find in the description will take you to this website. It's for an application called Windows Fences. Now I did mention this in a live stream a while back and the people that were watching at the time seemed pretty impressed with it. So I thought why not do a tutorial as my first one um, from my new sort of upload schedule. And so yeah, so it's by Stardock. It's a really great piece of software. There is a free version, there is also a pro version. Uh, we're just going to be using the free version, it works perfectly. Uh, so when we go to the page, we're going to come down here where it says download. Um, then what we're going to do is click download the free one. All you'll have to do is enter your email address. Um, and then they'll send you a download link. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and I'll be back in a second when I have done. Okay guys, I've come back and um, fences are downloaded. It doesn't take that long, I just do them when we're going into my email inbox on camera and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open it, uh, click run and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the desktop so we can see what goes on. So we're going to hit next, I accept, next again, next, next and next and then it'll install, it shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm just wondering whether it's worth pausing the video or not. No, we should be all good. Right, there we go, we've finished installing. Um, so then we'll get this new Windows that comes up where it'll say Welcome to Stardock Fences. So it'll say Start Using Fences or I'll Create Fences on My Own. Um, the Start Using Fences is probably the easiest option to use. Uh, so I'm going to go and click that. Um, <clears throat> and then what we get is we get two more options. We get Just Create a Couple of Fences in which case it will create basically two boxes to put your own icons in or you can click the sort out my icons um, button and that's for extra messy desktop it will perform a one time sorting of shortcuts files and folders into separate fences so we're going to go ahead and click that and my throat is getting pretty bad again and you'll see everything has sorted itself out so we're going to Go here now and it'll give us our cho the choice to open up the fences settings. So here's what we've got. <clears throat> we've got the excuse me. <clears throat> we've got the layout. So you can have any layout you want, but at the same time you can also just move these around however you'd like. So I'm just gonna pop that back up there for now. You've got your appearance, you can choose um, your transparency settings, so you can make them really dark, you can choose your colours. So I, I tend to do mine based on the colour of my desktop background and I usually have the transparency um, about halfway. That way I can still see that the fences are there um, but they don't obstruct my desktop background too much. Um, so then we've got tools. Um, this is a really nice one. Hide slash show desktop icons when the desktop is double clicked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this now. We don't need it anymore. And show you that when we double click all our icons disappear and you get this first uh, when you first do that you get the quick hide activated message come up all you have to do is click don't show this message again and click OK and basically when you double click on your desktop again they all come back so you see what we've got sorted out into sorted out on here is we've got quick links we've got recent things so this is recent stuff that I've worked on uh, we've got programs that have had shortcuts placed on the desktop any web links We've also got a separate fence for all the files and folders. Now all these are completely scrollable, so you can have them as small as you want. I could put it all the way up there, but I could still scroll through and see everything that's in that file. Or oh, fence, sorry. And then we've got our files and documents. So yeah guys, I hope that um, helps a little bit. You can rename these, you can move them around, you can delete them. Um, overall it's just a much better way for organising your desktop. Um, and I know a lot of people, especially um, say you're doing a lot of graphic style work, you always like your stuff to be somewhere you can get to it easily. And I always just shove my stuff on the desktop and this program helps so much. 
Anyway, guys, don't forget to go check it out. Let me know what you make of it. And um, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to leave any suggestions in the, low, in the comment section below for any tutorials you want next week. And until next time, guys, peace.